Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of My Senpai is Annoying, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what happened today with Futaba and, you know, her just, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, she looks like Momo. I need to wait to go see a movie, huh? Oh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Futaba. Gonna be happy about that all day. It's Valentine's Day. It's next week. I, I mean... <laughs> See, you say that and then watch. It's just going to be the exact same way that you probably got last year. Even though I don't know what it is. Sakurai. 
be afraid. <laughs> but if she said that she's already gonna do that why get your hopes up you gotta love guys I mean seriously <laughs> but as girls we do that too Oh, damn. <laughs> uh -oh. Get him, Cody. Thing it's probably like show it to her or something like oh my god Okay, you too. Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, kinda. But, you know, because kind of in a way it was supposed to be a date. <laughs> Read the room, baby. so good. <laughs> yeah, you're adorable. 
Tiempo. I just want to know who he's voiced by because he's just so fucking cute. Oh my god. Oh. But did you give anybody chocolate? I don't think so. Mm. No, babe. Poor baby. It's so mean. Oh, that looks good. Baby's on a ramen date. Like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Chocolate ramen. I mean, but the thing is, who do you? How do you know if it's gonna be good? Have you tasted it yourself? Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Bruh. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. I want chocolate. I mean, I had Pocky yesterday. It was chocolate-covered strawberry and then regular old chocolate Pocky. But still. <laughs> right? You just were the one who brought him up. Green tea chocolate? I know, take a lot of pictures. Oh, let me guess that green one's for you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> But something tells me she kind of like sweetened up the matcha just to sweeten it up just a little teeny tiny bit. <laughs> you been at work, bro? Just go talk to her.
Ooh, yay. <laughs> Probably not in the way you wanted, but at least you got some. So... Oh, that real good chocolate. Oh my... Yes! Oh, but Futama, he love it. Because it's homemade and you made it for him! <laughs> yes, oh my god. Girl Dolly. Is it close? That's a win! Did you seriously drink them all? Bro, your sugar spike and your blood were like... Right? Like, damn. Meanie.
I wish we had seen it. Yeah, just, you know, I'm sorry. As Miss Toko. Yeah, who bought the cake? Or even made it? Makes sense. And the, I mean, the detail on the roses? Oh my god. That was cute, oh my god. Really, yeah, you made me crave chocolate, even though, like, I bought, because I'm getting it right now. So I got this yesterday. These are so freaking good. Like, I'm a girl who likes a traditional Pocky, but I've had the crunchy strawberry, like, once and, once or twice, so because we were at a certain Walmart, I was like, your girl is getting this. Like, oh my god, but chocolate. Just, I want chocolate, like, so bad. <laughs> I have some of uh, some freaking Oreos, but that's not the same. You know when you were just craving just some nice silky pure chocolate, not just a drink because they're like I mean yeah, especially when you have no I could make me some hot chocolate because it is freezing cold out today. But it was cute meeting Toko's brother Yuto. Like oh my god, he's so precious. He just a baby who got lost. Like, oh my god. He's so cute. He better be in the next episode. I'm glad we got to see him today because ever since this show started and I have kept seeing him in the opening, I kept wondering when the hell he was going to pop up. But he's just so baby. So precious. Oh my god. But Cosma. Cosma. Seriously. <laughs> Misunderstandings. We're high in today's episode. Like, oh my god. But it was so good. I love seeing Futaba and her son like, go on a ramen date. Like, oh my god. Babies. Like, ah. Oh my god. <laughs> I got him. I got him dress his little friend riding head. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He's so fucking cute. I mean, because, yeah, when you look at him, especially with his short hair and his, like, he has a little bit of feminine qualities in it. He's more, like, he's still more masculine than feminine, but there are some guys who have, like, a little bit of feminine features in him, and he definitely does. And so you could see him, like, possibly cosplaying as a girl or something. He looks so fucking cute. Like, oh my god. I want to see it. We need a whole episode on that. That would be so freaking good. Oh my god. But the fact that Futaba went out of her way to make homemade chocolate, and even though her senpai, you know, had a job, went to go talk, got some free chocolate, some very expensive fucking chocolate, might I add, because, oh, that brand is so, I've never had it. I, I've seen, like, you know how, like, if you go to Walmart or Target or, like, maybe even Costco or Trader Joe's, maybe even Sam's Club or anything, or just, like, any type of grocery store, and you go into, like, the candy section and you see... Um, that chocolate. I think, because last night I really wasn't paying attention to chocolate and stuff. I was just like, I'm tired. I want to get the hell out of Walmart. I don't want to be here. I'm ready to go home <laughs> and such. But normally they do have that type of chocolate in certain stores. And they are really expensive. I mean, it just depends on, like, how maybe the quality of the chocolate is made. I don't really know that much about, like, chocolate making. I, you know, you think it's like, okay, here's a cocoa bean big old thing and then you go from one thing and then instantly do a whole bunch of other things and then boom it's chocolate but there's a lot more in depth with it but I love the fact that you know she made homemade chocolate for him even though he's the type who does not really like sweets that much it's very very sweet and very thoughtful and like it looks so good oh my god I want some like so bad right now just <laughs> Please, I want to go to the store and go get fucking chocolate. That's all. Like, God damn it. I mean, if I had gone to the store, like, on the first, I could have got Halloween candy. But because a certain, certain person didn't want to go to the store, 
it's now the 6th of November and no Halloween candy anywhere in store. Only Christmas candy. So yeah, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 5 of my Senpai is Annoying. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys. Thank you.